Secretary of the RMT Union. That is Eddie Dempsey. Eddie Dempsey, welcome to you. Uh, Grant Shapps points out that the industry got £16 billion of taxpayers' money during lockdown. That's an awful lot of uh, money, £600 per family going towards the railways, and you pay those families back this way. Well, thanks for having me on your programme. I have to say that 16 billion package of support that went to the rail industry, quite a sizable chunk of it went straight through the railway industry into the private uh, accounts of large companies and out of this country and into tax havens in Jersey, in Luxembourg and elsewhere. In the worst pandemic year, almost a quarter of the entire government support went through the industry and out of this country into the accounts of some of the private companies who've made millions and millions in profits throughout the pandemic period up to uh, the present time. And our members have had a pay freeze. Some of them are now in the third year of a pay freeze and are facing the threat of mass redundancies and huge changes, detrimental changes into the way uh, they work. So our members okay. are really angry about that. No, we and, and people will understand that. I mean, that being, that being the case, Eddie Dempsey, years, that being the case that money... Uh, and what we're trying yeah. to achieve is a fairly reasonable settlement for okay. our people. On, on the point about what's reasonable, Grant Shapps also makes the point that the pandemic has changed travel habits. We all know this, don't we? We, we saw the empty trains month after month. Absolutely. 25% fewer ticket sales. We haven't got back yet, have we, to where we were pre-lockdown. People have been encouraged back onto the trains... And we're still in that period where people are learning old, you know, relearning old habits, like taking the train. And now they're going to be dissuaded in the most powerful way imaginable, a week effectively, without a train. What, what do you say to those people? Well, I've got a couple of daughters, one doing A-levels, one doing yeah. GCSEs. You tell me how I get them to school that week, to take their exams. Well, look. Look, I appreciate people will feel frustration about this. We, we've all got people that need to use the trains too. We understand that. But Grant Shapps has had a 6% pay rise in that time over the period. Our members have had a pay freeze. Rail industry bosses have been taking home millions in pay packages during that time. Uh, and our people are facing cuts. We've worked extremely hard to keep the rail industry moving right away throughout the pandemic. And now, after two years of discussions, we're saying they have got to come up with a settlement for our people. Inflation is 11.1% RPI, and people are really feeling it. Now, our members voted nine to one in favour of strike action. They've issued a challenge to us, the industry, and the government to get this right. We don't take these decisions lightly, um, but what we need is to get some focus on these discussions, get people around the table, and we need an offer that makes people feel they're valued and gives them some security. That's not a lot to ask for in the current day and age, is it?